Morning, little buddy. Good morning. Today's the day. Today's the day. We're going to find out if will it run or will it blow <laughs> or how's it blown. How are you going to dig dirt with this? Well, <laughs> oh, trust me, I've dug a hole. Just ask my wife. <laughs> All right, man, behind the scenes, here is the deal in case everybody missed it. This is the 2002 86 foot. Man, look how tall my shadow is. You're almost as tall as me in the shadow. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Anyway, we're getting sidetracked here. 2002 86 foot JLG man lift I bought for scrap price. And it's actually in really good shape. Minus one major issue. Something we really need, huh? The dealer's, yeah. <laughs> the price is right you gotta buy man behind the scenes you don't you don't argue with the price all right so the dealership says this thing has a blowed up motor uh, that's all we got it for scrap price they claim the tor turbo went out and it ran away but there's been one ma i cannot talk this one there's one main flaw in their story they don't have a turbo huh so i'm guessing that's not the problem <laughs> So anyways, we're going to dive into this thing this morning and see if we can figure out what's going on and uh, why she decided to run uncontrollably and spew what I believe is fuel all over the place. So here's my hunch. You want to know what my hunch is? What's your hunch? I think it's got a bad injector. So I think it's number four, to be honest with you. So uh, I say first things first, let's hinge the engine out. Let's just, uh, somehow it's getting fuel in the oil and it's blowing fuel out the exhaust, which is the mess of the stuff it made all over it. So yeah, I say we hinge the uh, engine out and uh, pull the injectors out of it. Maybe we'll hit the, hit the start button. If there's a whole bunch of fuel in one cylinder, that's a good place to start. Yeah. And we may pull the injectors out. It may have failed so bad it might be a visible failure. If not, I think we know a guy Oh, area diesel oh yeah they can uh possibly maybe we'll send them off to area diesel and see what's going on i'm not super familiar with these engines but they are about as simple as simple gets so i'm pretty sure we can figure it out so mm -hmm. all right you ready to do something let's do something all right first things first i think we need what looks to be a 15 to 16 wrench that's what i'm going with you know what i feel like today what do you feel like? I feel like Captain Cleaning working in the shade tree mechanic shop. Yeah. <laughs> What's he always say? It's a little a little sunny in the shop today. Yeah. All right. That was easy. That enough. was easy enough. Yeah. One thing uh, about these John Lewis Grove machines, they do make them easy to work on. Yeah. All right. Now we'll pull out. That's the next question. Oh, that's way easier than the other one. Wow. Looks like it pulls out a little more too yeah there's now a there's a pin is that pin to lock yeah, it somewhere it's still in here where does it go though Not yeah back there all right gotta find the hole let me pull it you got it yep keep going there hey goes. look at that look at that wow you ain't even got a turn to walk in here i like this you know what i you know what's sad though I had to find me a step stool to work on this one. <laughs> uh, I know where there's a pink one at. <laughs> <laughs> Not much left of it though. All right, man, behind the scenes, this thing is about as simple as simple gets, I believe. So this is our fuel return rail across here. It's got these little bitty hoses that come up off the injector. Basically it takes the uh, unused fuel or whatever fuel leaks around the injectors and returns it back to the tank. Got a couple 10 millimeter bolts. Hold it on, so we're gonna pop that off. Get it out of our way. See if I can get down in there and get to those a little bit easier. I wish I had an air hose or something to blow this off, but we just don't have that out here in the, uh, we're gonna call this the sunshine shop for today. Sun, claiming sunshine. Yeah. yeah. Say that three times. Yeah. yeah, say that three times fast there, buddy. All right, you're in charge of that. Okay. The next thing we need to do is take these injector lines off, which should be, you handed me a three quarter wrench, didn't you? Yes, I did. Yep, right here. Should be a three quarter wrench. Oh, I lied to you. 
it is gonna be metric probably 17 ish that's what i'm going with oh is that captain cleveland out here yeah, speak speaking of the devil <laughs> he's gonna be jealous my sunshine shop's bigger than his <laughs> yeah. uh, what size you need 17. 17. i got the shop air compressor fired up <laughs> hey Sometimes you just have to use what you got available. That's right. That's it. That works. This thing's got a lot of uh, just grind from over the years on top of it. We're going to have those injector holes open. I don't want to risk uh, getting uh, dirt down those cylinders. Damaging something that's not currently damaged. So we're going to take air hose. Just blow everything off real good before we actually pop that. actually pop that open don't risk getting any dirt down in the engine long story short all right i did get the right wrench we got all of our lines loose take those off easy peasy i wish all engines were this easy to work on we'll lay these in order up here Drop that one, I think about it. All right, so what we should be able to do is we basically got a 10 millimeter nut right there. I am dropping everything, folks. Getting a little too ambitious here this morning. If we bust this little 10 millimeter nut loose right here, this is actually the hold down. This is what I would call like a pencil style injector. I might need a small little pry bar if we got one, Aaron. Let me see. It looks like this one's loose. It might come out. So that's our injector hold down clamp. Oh, that one come out. So that right there is number three. That's number three. Number three. Mark it number three. Mark it number three, please. Right. You need this. It's too small for that one. No, that'll work if I need it. Yep. All right. So there's one out. I think this one here might be our problem. Let's take the rest of these out and see what we got. All right, so we got the four injectors out. What I was uh, thinking we might see is the whole end of this injector, this whole injector tip might be missing, where it's just fire hose and dumping oil down in there. Mm -hmm. I don't see anything, I don't see any smoking guns. We put a little bit of air pressure on all these and they all seem to be holding back air pressure, which means nothing's, the internals aren't just like absolutely, completely blowed out of them, so. I guess our investigation continues. Yeah. It's like the dirt perfect version of the CIA. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See what happens. So, all right. Next thing I think we're going to do is I got the uh, bore scope set up. I don't know if I can do this and show you guys at the same time, but I'm just going to take a look down in each one of these cylinders. See if we can kind of get maybe a little bit of an insight on what's going on. So this is cylinder number four. You guys can see the cylinder wall looks really good. Still got all the hash markings on them. There is a little bit of fluid, and the cylinder wall looks excellent. There's just a little bit of fluid down there on top of the cylinder, but it's not, 
I don't know. I don't see nothing that really concerns me there, to be honest with you, on number four. We'll go on to number three. This cylinder is at top dead center, or close to. Well, a little bit of cylinder wall you can see. Don't look bad. Again, this cylinder looks a little bit dirty, like it wasn't burning as clean. But nothing really crazy. Cylinder number two. That looks awesome. Hash markings looks good. Pistons clean. There's nothing going on in cylinder number two. It's behaving like it's supposed to. Let's go to cylinder number one. Gotta get the second hole down there. All right, so this one here, if you guys look, the cylinder wall looks good, but there is a lot of fluid sitting on top of that piston. Uh, it's, it may be hard for you guys to see in that little bit of screen, but... One's got a lot of fluid sitting on top of it. Now the question is, how did it get there? I wonder... Uh-oh. We may have a camera stuck in cylinder one. There we go. This is what I'm wondering. Uh, I wonder if we can put our injector lines on this and just turn them down so that way whenever they spew fuel, we can watch and see how evenly they're spewing fuel and let it shove all that excess fuel out of those cylinders and maybe we'll look again when they're cleaned up a little bit. Mm -hmm. See what we got. So I'm going to take these lines, put them back on here like so. This is kind of a... A little bit of a redneck injector testing because we can actually put those injectors right on here and fire them off oh really see what it does but i say we fire them without the injectors on them just to see if maybe one of these eup pumps or i don't know if these are these are not electronic injection units but little mechanical injection units see if we got anything goofy going on there you know what i mean yeah all right well, let's get this test set up we'll crank her over once see what it does uh That'll also let us kind of hear if there's anything else rattling around. That should be rattling around. Mm -hmm. All right. The search continues. All right. So we got the injectors pulled, so we have no compression. Obviously, there's no way this thing's going to start. I've got the feed lines back on the pumps. So we're going to monitor the fuel flow coming out of these. This one here, I couldn't quite get turned the way I wanted to, so I went ahead and put the injector on it. We'll see how it pops off. But I think... Let me get moved out of the way here so I don't get sprayed with fuel. Mm -hmm. I say we bump the starter, let it spin over once or twice and just kind of see, see what it does. See if it gives us any clues. All right, bump it once it does. Ready? Yep. Keep going. Well, the first few bumps, I didn't hear any rods clanging or valves dropped or anything stupid like that. Uh, I think we need to find us, we got a lot of fuel coming out of this return, so instead of making a big old mess, I think we can find us a little bitty jug or something, try to catch that. Because it was just starting to put fuel out of these, but I never did see that injector pop off. So, uh, I said we find something to put on that fuel return line to catch some of that fuel, yep. and then we bump it again. All right, he's going to bump it again. What we're looking for is his fuel coming out of all these. And that one there should actually pop off and atomize. All right, give her a shot. All right. All right. Man, ejector number four is popping off just as... Ejector number four is popping off just as pretty as can be. Really? Um... And all the other three are pumping. You want to put all the injectors on there and see if they all pop off? I think so, yeah. I mean, it's kind of a redneck test bench, but... Yep. I think that's our... That should tell us something pretty quick. Yep. All right, so basically I installed... This is basically simulating the injector down in the cylinder. So whenever Aaron cranks this here in a second, we want to make sure we don't have fuel pouring out any of those and it needs to be like a really nice neat little spray uh we got number four on back here it was doing good so we really just need to watch one two and three so all right give it a try once Aaron. A 
They're just as pretty as can be. Really? I mean, just as pretty as can be. Um, now what? Oh, they're just right in line. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Yeah. Then we put them back in there and fire it up and see if it runs away. Yeah. I don't know what else you do. I mean, one thing we could possibly do is put them back in and not hook the fuel lines up and just check compression and make sure we ain't got nothing goofy going on there. Yeah. This is, this is part of the issue of working on somebody else's problem. Yeah, not knowing what happened. Um, obviously, it blew fuel all over this thing. So I'll tell you what let's do. Before we put the injectors back in, let's look down those cylinders one more time with the bore scope. Make okay. sure there's nothing goofy going on. I think we put the injectors in, but we don't hook up the fuel lines. Crank it, see what it sounds like, and then we'll, uh, we'll just keep plugging along. Yeah. Let the let the saga continue. Yeah. All right. Since we don't see no uh, smoking guns with anything there, I so said we slide these injectors back in, crank it with no fuel going to them, check compression, and see if we hear any funny noises that way. And uh, we'll just keep working our way to a fingers crossed startup, I guess. Yeah. Hell, I don't know. All right, let's slide some injectors in. I think you can hold an umbrella up there and block yeah, that sun this yeah. morning. It's, kind of, it's a little bit warm for mid-October here. All right, so the diagnostic uh, continues here. Like I said, we're kind of taking off. We weren't here when this thing went catastrophically wrong. So we have discovered we had a tremendous amount of fuel in the oil. There's two ways the fuel can get in the oil. Uh, there is no fuel ports in the head. It's everything's external up there. So from here up is pretty much take that out of the equation These are the little pumps the fuels on the top side. There is oil on the bottom side They could cross over some fuel. It's not out of the realm of possibilities, but it's highly unlikely The more likely culprit would be our little fuel pump right here is uh, dumping a bunch of fuel into our oil so We've actually disconnected the main fuel line going to this thing. We've got the inject injectors reinstalled. I think we're going to crank him over here once and just kind of see what we got with compression. We actually yep. took the um, intake line off the air cleaner. So if this thing does decide to get crazy, we can, we can cap him off and keep him from going hog wild. But uh, I don't know. Crank it once, see what happens. My phone is just not going to give it up, is it? Just kind of bump it, bump it at first, see what it does, because it may smoke a little bit without fuel on top end pistons. All right. Give her a go. Everything looks good. Keep going. Man, I don't see anything out of the ordinary. Think we'll pull out fuel pump off there and inspect it? I'm thinking so. See if we can see anything that may be causing it to bleed by. But uh, yeah, I'm like you. I think that's what it is. And then I don't know. We want to drain a little bit out, put some fresh oil in fresh it, oil and in. let it run and. Then watch the uh, watch the level watch on the, the dipstick. fuel level, see what it does. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, deductive reasoning—that's what we're going with this morning. Deductive reasoning. No clickety clang or nothing. No, like it sounded. That, so. I mean, it sounded good. And I didn't hear no real loud boom, so that's no. not us. Huh. 
<laughs> All right, now what wrenches do we need now? We need our fancy Some. little gear wrench set. Oh yeah, that's right. And I took it out of the truck. What are we gonna do with you? All right, we're gonna pull this fuel pump off, give it a little bit of a once over, see if we can see anything obvious with it. Here, I'll hold the camera. You hold that camera work. just right so it blocks that sun because it is miserable right now. Yeah, well, I don't know about that. This thing could not be angled in a worse angle. Fuel right there. So it's the O-ring, I bet, huh? Well, or do you think it's that bypassing? is the that's the bypass? Oh, that's definitely fuel right there, though. So you want to go rob one off the other machine? We won't tell Matt. Won't tell Matt. Yeah, there's fuel in that hole right there. Is there? Uh, you guys probably can't see anything because of the sun. Yeah, there's fuel in that hole. So see this hole on the back side of that pump? Which is inside yeah, the O-ring. That one. So if that fuel pump fails, that fuel is going to go around the back side of that thing. Okay. Because if we pull that fuel pump off that other motor over there, it's going to be all, uh, should be all oil. Yeah. I'll tell you what I'm thinking at this point, to be honest with you. Let's drain all the oil out of this thing because it's got mm -hmm. much fuel in it. Um, for testing purposes, it don't take two seconds to pull that fuel pump off that other lift. Yeah. Throw it on there. And uh, then the race is on to see if we can get ours running before cleaning. Yeah, exactly. Because <laughs> Matt needs one Friday and if all this one needs is a fuel pump, yeah, he can just use this one. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'm getting ahead of myself here. And I hope we get it fixed. <laughs> Wouldn't that be awesome? Yeah. All right. I think that fuel pump, I think seeing fuel on that's our smoking gun there. All right. You want to drain oil and I'll go rob parts? Sounds like a plan to me. All right. Oh, that's, uh, that's yummy. Yeah. Remember that ranch we ain't got that we need? Who's, remember who's in charge of tool inventory? Huh? This guy. Oh, hey. Look what else I found in here. There's our little three inch oh, extension. Here. Look at there. Yeah. All right. Don't tell nobody. I'm going to go rob parts. All right. The captain's over here working on some leaky cylinders on the other lift here. That'll all be on his channel. Don't mind us. We're just going to uh, rob a few parts. You've never seen us. Things are going great. <laughs> I would expect no less. This pin here, two fingers, pull it right out. Really? I'm gonna, I'm gonna set it next to that one. <laughs> we got a, we got a pin up here. It's been a little bit of a. There's always gotta be one out of the group, Captain. There's always gotta be one out of the group. All right, we think we got a bad fuel pump, so I'm gonna rob the fuel pump. Off of this. Off this one. Because well, at this point, the race is on to see who gets one running first. Well, if you're stealing my part. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm, I'm handicapping my cause here. All right, you guys probably can't see anything because I forgot to bring a flashlight, which is all right because right here, we got a brand new fuel pump from Mary Diesel. We just installed on this one a couple weeks ago on Matt's channel. We're going to rob this one, take it over. Should fit on the air lift and see what happens. So. I got my spare parts. I'm out of here. Okay. You have Good. fun. A blast. Absolutely. Later. Back here at the other lift, comparing notes. 
This is the one we believe to be bad. This is the known good one we just took off the other lift. They look absolutely identical, man, behind the scenes. That is a good thing. Well, I hope they're not identical. I hope one don't leak oil. Yeah, exactly. Or fuel or whatever we're leaking. So, yeah. All right. The sun is blinding back here. We're going to try to get this new one back on. And uh, I don't know, man. We might hit the button and see what happens. Yeah. We'll wait to find out. All right, guys, so here is, we got everything put back together, lines back on, fuel return back on, fuel pump is back on. I've got all these loose yet. We gotta bleed the air out of them. So I'm gonna let Aaron crank out over just a little bit till we start seeing fuel pop out. And then we'll tighten those down, fingers crossed. See if she cranks, so. All right, give her a go once. <laughs> Good. It's about time for the moment of truth. They all four got fuel at the same time. Good. Well, man, behind the scenes at this point, I'm confident it's going to start. Question yeah. is, what's it going to do after it starts? Yeah. I uh, I got a feeling there's still a bunch of fuel and stuff in the exhaust. It might try to blow out and it's probably gonna smoke a whole lot from whatever incident it had, but the only thing I know to do is crank it and see what happens. All right, try it. I got mine going first. Well, yeah, you got my fuel pump on it. <laughs> that ain't fair. Thank you for the extra parts, though. Man, she sounds good. I know it. up on top but it's an easy fix i'll say we shut her down button her up and see what happens yeah all right got the air filter hooked back up oh we gotta pull out a pin out there Aaron. you want to give me a hand yeah we're gonna close ready yep come to you there we go <laughs> fresh motor fresh rebuild got the bolt. i got the bolt in my hand all right blow it up they said 
quickest rebuild I've ever seen in I'll my life. I'll tell you what, we gotta, we gotta get air in that tire yet that they pop loaded on the trailer. Yeah. As soon as we get the air in that tire, we're gonna see if this thing still moves and lifts and does yeah. everything it's supposed to. All right, that you need a 15 16. 15 16th. Is it taking air? I don't know, it's got a little bit. Holy cow, how are we getting so lucky? <laughs> I know. <laughs> this is insane. Oh. Maybe we should go buy a lottery ticket. Uh, yeah, yeah. There's gonna be uh, one problem once we get her fired up, it's not gonna move. They took all the planetary gears out of it. Oh, they did. Yeah, but uh, I say we get it fired up and uh, just kind of see if all the boom functions and stuff work. And if they work, we'll get yep. those planetary gears. It is airing up. It, it is. is. That is insane. <laughs> it just counted for a pop tower too. Yeah. <laughs> we need to stay in business with these guys. I, I hope the dealership don't watch this because no, this is an not. absolute home run. <laughs> absolute home run. I think he'll let me trade it in. Did they keep them? No, they're in the back. I got them. Oh, you got I them? I made sure I got them, yeah. Hey. He started rolling and I took off rolling. I said, where's the planetary gears? He said, good call. They're on my bench in the shop. <laughs> <laughs> go get them right now. So, this thing's got hydraulic drive units on the wheels. These little gears right here, there's four of them. You go in there, you pull these gears out. That's what allows it to roll around without having, uh, having power. I was gonna say he may have charged you about five or six thousand for them. Yeah, they, I think they're like eighteen hundred new if you gotta buy them. So I'm pretty sure it's been a while since I messed with these. I'm pretty sure all we gotta do is pull off this cap. Yeah. We'll do that real quick. All right, somebody in the comments can correct me if I'm wrong, but I've always taken this little thing off right here. See how it's got a nipple? There's a pin on the other side. You turn it around, shove the pin in, and bolt it back on. That usually releases the brakes and kicks these things into neutral so you can roll them around. I'm pretty sure the dealership has taken this whole hub off and pulled the actual sun gear out of the drive, which I don't know why. Uh, I don't know why. Maybe that's just the way he knew how to do it. Sometimes they're used to working on bulldozers and stuff. Sometimes on bulldozers or excavators, that's what you actually have to do is pull the cover off and pull the sun gear out. Maybe he thought this was the same scenario, but I'm going to pull this torque hub, hub, uh, torque hub cover off. See if we can figure out what they what they got going on in there and uh, get it back together. So let me buzz this off real quick and see if we can figure out where that little gear goes. Because right now, if we fire this thing up and use it, it is not going to move. It's just going to sit here because it's basically, basically in neutral without those drive gears in. So... We'll figure it out. So I'm really dumbfounded. See how half of that spline is uh, splined and the other half's not? Mm -hmm. So whenever you turn that around and push that pin in, it shoves that back far enough to where it just spins inside this gear. So why in the hell did they take the gear out? It don't make any sense at all. Because if I push that back, the part that don't have gears is in here, or the part that don't have slides, it's, it's the way it's designed to work, people. That way you don't have to mess with all this oil and stuff. This is the same people that diagnosed it as a blow turbo. They don't even have a turbo, but yeah, yeah. that's much easier. Yeah, it is. Much easier. All right, you guys see how it works. We're gonna go around. We gotta do uh, the other three that way. We do not have gear oil here. We'll have to round up some gear oil some way, shape, or form, but okay. uh, everything in here looks good too, buddy. Yes, it does. This thing looks awesome. Oh, yeah. All right. I got it. Right. Gotta... We got to get back to work. Yeah. We got to see if this thing will work. We're going to go to new heights. Yeah. All right. Got all the planetary gears back in. I think the next thing is, is uh, we'll see if this thing fires up and boom works. And then we're going to have to get it just the right position to get some oil back in the hubs. I got I have to do me one favor. What's that? Pop the e-brake back there. Oh. Is it an e brake or an e stop? E stop, yeah. Here we go, let's see if it'll start. What do you always tell me? You gotta hold it. Oh, 
Well, then behind the scenes, our utter excitement turned into utter disappointment. Yeah, I know it. So this thing sat here for 15, 20 minutes while we were uh, in the process of putting those hubs back in. We fired it up and it was back to its old habits of, uh, back to its old habits of spewing oil everywhere. And it is actually oil this time. We were able to confirm that. So I think what we're gonna do is uh pry bar yeah we're gonna work out exhaust off there that'll allow us to kind of give us an insight into those little ports in there and maybe we can see which cylinders cause this problems or what our problem is overall at this at this game at this stage in the game i'm thinking we maybe got a head gasket bad because if it was a ring in the engine it would be doing it while it was running and this was doing it while it was sitting i don't know if I'll go out now go back. Switch me. Switch me pry bars. Pull up. Almost. There we go. I'll go on this a second. This is hard to do with one hand. You know if it's this tight getting off, you know how tight it's gonna be getting it back on, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> oh. All right, let me, get, let me help you on the other end here. Hold on. You ready? Yep. There we go. Boom. That don't look like any of them are spitting oil out. Is that oil just full, muffler just full of oil? Uh, yeah, it's full of oil. Question is, how'd that happen? These all look good. Oh, there's the phone again. Lovely. Huh. Well, it seems the only thing I know to do is let's take a chance, fire it up without the exhaust manifold on it. Maybe that'll give us a little uh, insight, insight into what's going on. I'd say uh, I'm going to stand back so I don't get covered in oil. Okay. I'd say fire up and shut her down almost immediately. Yeah, that ran fine. Huh? Yeah, I'll start it up. And behind the scenes, we're just getting plumb crazy now. Yeah. So, after pulling the exhaust off and realize we're not spewing oil out anywhere, we shouldn't be spewing oil out, which means we are running off fuel. So that leads me to believe we got a fuel control issue. So we took the fuel actuator off we're jerry rigged up this mechanical fuel linkage here see isn't that fancy i guess the plan is is uh try to start it and see what uh see if we can control it manually yeah. i mean all right try it here we go Got, you got Actuator problem. I mean, it's just burning as clean as can be, ain't yeah. it? Yeah, there was nothing. Clean as could be. So I. I think we can go steal another actuator off the other lift, see what happens. Yeah. Well, I know, try. Yeah. 
All right, man, behind the scenes, here's the after lunch plan. All right. I'm gonna go over to our new, uh, our new parts machine for our fuel solenoid off. You wanna get ahead? I think we can go ahead and put that muffler back on. Yeah. Get you wanna get a head on. start on getting it put back on and I guess we'll just put it back piece by piece until something don't work right. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I don't know at this point, guys. We're just, uh, we're gonna keep fumbling around until we figure it out. Back to Robin Parts. I did not video this on my channel. This is actually on Mr. Millennial's channel. A couple videos back, we just installed, this is the brand new fuel actuator from Kurt over at Area Diesel. This one here, this engine here would just randomly shut off. And uh, this ended up being the culprit right here. So this should be the same one. Part numbers say this will be the same one. This is the same engine, except it's a three cylinder instead of a four cylinder. So we got test parts. Let's take this over, put it in there and see if that makes a, makes a difference. Fingers crossed. All right, there's the actuator we took out. It looks like it's been changed at some point in life. This is the new one we robbed off the other machine. And they are identical. So we're gonna slide this one in there and uh, see if we'll have, uh, see if we'll be able to control engine RPM. <laughs> I'm just about got my side done. You good to go over there? Yeah. We'll have to have them all on, do we? Yeah, 50% is good enough. All right, I'm at uh, 25% right now. <laughs> I that was good enough. I'll have to get a few more in. Oh, that sounds like Captain. Nope. Nope. We're clear. Well, what is this? Temp 75? Something like that. I, uh,. Why couldn't we left it alone at temp, uh, temp one when it <laughs> rained, great? We had our hopes way too high. Yeah, we did. We should have known better. Yeah. Uh, well, I don't know. Let's find out. Hit her once. Hopefully she idles or something. Come on, baby. Here we go. Pretend like you like it. Let's do it. I got hold it a minute longer. All right, that's a good sign. Still want to take off like a crazy machine. Hmm. The only other thing that could be messed up in that, Aaron, is the speed sensor. The speed sensor? Yeah. They didn't blow oil out or anything stupid this time. I mean, it ran clean. Okay, that's good. But the actuator didn't fix our problem. I mean, as far as the motor, the motor sounds really good too. Yeah, the motor sounds fine. Or is this a broken wire right here? It looks like a broken wire. Yeah. still at uh, zero dollars for new parts <laughs> that's we a good thing positive i said we investigate this wire i do too all right long story short here is the latest on this uh this saga engine runs great and it's not pumping out any oil yeah. it's smoking a little bit but it's burning off some of that residual that was in the exhaust but we have zero zero control of our engine rpm unless i do it manually and we checked the actuator we checked the speed sensor checked a few different things really couldn't come up with nothing nothing seemed to change it but we started jiggling around the wiring harness 
and I, it's hard for you guys to see, but Aaron, right let me point out right there. Right we got there. a bunch of wires that are rubbed and smashed. Right there, and then we got another spot back here. Right there. Yeah. So, uh, I got broke loose for you, so I think you're ready to go. Was there anything else you need me for? You told me to just cut that loose. You cut that loose. I got that in cut. I think we're going to have to cut that on up and get all those wires exposed and find out which ones are. One of those yeah. is our culprit. Yeah. Because, I'm pretty sure because uh, you could jiggle that around and it did seem to, it tried to work at times. Yeah. Like something was making contact. It's not making contact. This has turned into quite the wild goose chase. Yeah, it has. We went from injectors to head gasket. Yeah. To fuel solenoid. Yeah. To fuel pump. Now we're on the wiring. Now we're on <laughs> <laughs> right when park they said <laughs> all right i don't know if you guys can see down here but we have managed to splice four wires they were rubbing here and they were rubbing on this hose down here when it's closed up so we <sighs> have like four connectors how four much connect are these connectors <laughs> just <laughs> wondering what we're out on this thing so far just four connectors but just before you get your hopes up let's see if this thing works the way it's i hope to see. <laughs> i got Oh my goodness. I got enough faith. I'm going to stand back. I'll run real fast if it decides to go to the sky. Come on, baby. Be nice to us. Oh, you're going to start it from up there this time. We're going to start right here. All right. So what we're hoping for is this thing fires off and goes to idle. Come on, baby. Here, just purr like a kitten, baby. Oh, I love it. That is awesome. All right, we gotta get these torque hubs filled back up with oil before we forget. We're gonna give this thing one more once over, and I think we should send it to Matt, let him try it out as our guinea pig. All right, let's get these filled up. Yep.
functions? It's a new one. I know it. It is nice. It's like a brand new one. It does. We don't have a clue what we're doing, but it worked out great. Yeah, I did. Oh, man, behind the scenes. It's been an absolute roller coaster of a day. Yes, it has. Let's recap our purchase here. Yes. So we started off <clears throat> thinking we had a bad injector. Pulled all the injectors Back up. Up. Blown oh. motor. Oh, yeah. So the dealer said it had a blown motor. Yes. Yeah, because it, it's just she blowed up, buddy. Yep. So I thought possibly we had a bad injector because we had a lot of fuel in the oil. Yes. So we checked all the injectors, and uh, everything proved to be pretty good right yeah. there. Uh, so then we went down the rabbit hole of possibly a bad fuel pump, which I do think we had was a bad fuel pump. And I think they ran it for a long time with a bad fuel pump. Yeah. There was something there because it was uh, about two gallons too full. Yeah, way too full. Not counting when it filled up the exhaust and blew it out. Yeah. So whenever we fired it up, what we think happened is whenever we hinged this out, those wires randomly made connection over there. Yeah. So that's how come whenever we did our first test fire, it ran, it ran right. fine. Whenever we hinged it back and did our second test fire, we uh, pulled the wires back apart over there where the harness was bad. And it had a bunch of residual oil down in the... Yeah, that, I, I that, still that was don't, probably a good spot right there. I still don't know how it got oil down in the... I almost wonder if somebody didn't pour fuel down the damn exhaust. Something. Because when you pull the exhaust off, manifold look good. I mean, this mm -hmm. come off a job where these guys just might have needed a new lift and they poured a bunch of fuel down the, down the thing, fired it up and let it blow all over the place. Yeah. Long story short, <clears throat> we can't find nothing wrong with the engine. Uh, and then we then we got chasing electrical. Yep. And uh, found a couple of chafed wires up there, which yep. ended up being did the wiggle technique. On did it. the wiggle technique? Yes, to yeah. find it. And uh, yeah, the wiggle technique found our uh, blown wires. So the bad news is, it literally took us all day to get this thing running. Yeah. The good yeah, news is, we had to buy a single part. No. <laughs> <laughs> so I got about a twenty-five thousand dollar man lift for fifteen hundred bucks. Yeah. High five. Oh Woo! yeah. <laughs> all right now what are we gonna do with it <laughs> all right we gotta put it to use somewhere so we are gonna let matt guinea pig it so we uh we didn't buy any parts but we may have borrowed oh. a few parts <laughs> uh so we still gotta get a fuel pump to get the other lift going but matt does need this at the castle i'm not sure cleman's gonna have that ready to go so we may let matt use it just to uh mm -hmm. see how it does and if you guys can tell from here she needs a bath she needs a bath bad. We'll let Matt do that too after. So we'll get some degreaser on her and give her a bath. See what she goes. But uh, man, <laughs> she sounds good. Yeah, really good. Really good. I'm, uh, I don't know what to expect. I don't know if we bought a big damn boat <laughs> anchor or something actually useful. I think we got something actually useful. So yeah. This thing's got a 2021 inspection on it. So it's not that far out of compliance. No, no it ain't. And it works amazing. Yeah, everything does. All right. Enough about this. I think they got the point. We're excited. I don't know if they got it yet or not. <laughs> we can tell them one I more guess time. I did run it all the way out. Yeah. Everything ran out good. Everything sucked it, back it's, in it's, good. It's, it's awesome. I didn't get so stuck in the air or you'd have been videoing me. And it quit smoking. And it quit smoking. Yeah. So. All right. You guys get the point. 
I think she's going to be a winner. We're going to keep her around for a little bit. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. You brought us a little bit of good luck on this one, so be sure to give yourself a thumbs up on this. Uh, if you want to see this possibly on a job, I consider subscribing. Both are free. Or check out Matt's channel. He might, he might be on he his channel be on first. His but, channel. anyways, we got ball games to get to. We're out of here. See you guys.